everybody and welcome. Well today I've got a wonderful hip flexor stretch workout for you that is really going to get your hip flexors warmed up, stretched, strengthened, all of that good stuff for pre-workout, pre-dance, pre-sport, whatever you got going. Recently I had a hip flexor injury for a couple of months it's been giving me jerk and I've been doing these exercises every day five days a week for about I'd say a month and I've definitely noticed an improvement and less pain. That being said I am not a doctor so if you do have an injury please be sure to go to the doctor to have it checked out and also if you feel any bad pain or discomfort throughout these workouts then please stop immediately. Your safety comes first. Throughout these exercises, I would like for you to really focus on your glutes. That you are pulling your glutes tight together and down and at the same time engaging your core muscles and almost leaning back. So if you would imagine someone were punching you, what would happen to your body is, I'd imagine, <laughs> would be something like this. So if you have this sensation going on, the glutes down, tummy in and being punched in the gut here throughout, you're really gonna get deep into those hip flexors, which is exactly what we're wanting to do. So, without further ado, let's go. First off, we wanna make friends with our hips. So gently move your hips around to warm those flexors. Place your hands on your bum, almost as if you're putting your hands in your back pockets and pushing your hips forward while engaging your abs and you'll feel a nice stretch in the hip flexor. And remember, glutes down, tummy in. Push those hips forward. Please also for these first two exercises, make sure that your foot at the back is pointed into a tippy toe position. your back leg stretched and it's giving you pain in the knee then rather relax the knee a little bit remember you need to listen to your body you're doing a great job And now you're going to do the same as the previous exercise, but keep your heel pasted on the floor behind you. In this one, I definitely felt the pressure in my knee build up, so I needed to give a slight bend in the knee. If you feel that, then please do so as well. Job. Okay, now we're going to switch it over to the other leg because who knew we have two legs?
grab yourself a towel or a blanket or something soft that you can put your knee on so that it doesn't get hurt. What people generally tend to do on this stretch is to arch their back and let their pelvis slip back. But I really want you to focus on pushing those glutes down and engaging your stomach in and getting that pelvis forward. If you need to hold on something while you're doing this, then please feel free. For the last stretch, it's probably going to look like nothing, but if you're doing it correctly, you will definitely feel it there in the inner thigh by the groin. It can be quite sore. for joining me guys i hope you felt that stretch nice and intensely and i will see you in the next video be blessed